You taking still shots? Oh, I got you on video right now. I had the honor of spending a lot of time with Lee Lyles at the National Museum of Horseshoeing in Oklahoma. And in some of the old manuscripts, there were ideas or tips that farriers would give other tips. And one of those was how you dress your heels. She's a base narrow horse. You can see that she's fetlock varus, pastern joint varus. Base narrow, lands hard laterally, loads medially. So we're going to give her increased width of web laterally to support that side, to prevent some of the elongation of soft tissue, to prevent some of the compression of the joint spaces on the inside or medial side. Furthermore, because she's flared, I've knocked it down to the inside, giving her more support, increasing that width of web. This is a Grand Prix shoe, which is designed to have a wider width of web on the lateral side or outside, and I've further increased that. I've put the thickest part of the shoe underneath the viable hoof wall, which is out on this foot. If this heel was crushed or run under, I would do a heel like this, where it's knocked down to the outside, as I did on this horse's front hooves. So, because she's flared, I'm going to knock it down to the outside. If she wasn't flared but run under, I would knock it down to the outside here. 